people of God, let's open our mouth and begin to appreciate the kings of kings, the Lord of lords, the I am that I am for the great and mighty things that he has done for us. Look how far, look, you can see how far he has brought us from the month of January till this very month of May. Look, and look very well. You will see, you will see the obstacle you pass through. You will see the mountains, the hills that you pass through. You will see the thick and thin. You will see the forest. You will see the thorns that you have passed through. You will see the ocean. To worship you. You will see mm, the deepest parts, the thickest part. Mm, that turbulence that you pass through. That trouble that you pass through. Look deep. You will see. You will see. You will get to understand. You will see. You will understand how great it was. Look and you will see how you, you pass through that sickness. Look and you will see how you pass through those that difficulties. Look, you will pass through those temptation that was on the wayside. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. If you look, you will see how far from the month of January you have passed through so many so many, so many issues in your life. You have passed through trials. You have passed through temptation. You have passed through sickness. You have passed through hunger. You have passed through disappointment. You have passed through rejection. You have passed through the arrows of the enemies, but the Lord God Almighty was still strong and mighty. He did not turn his back against you. He upholds you. That's why we have every reason to worship him, to praise his holy name, thank him for that great, and thank him for the breath of life that he has given unto you freely. He has given you freely, free of charge. Yes. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, O kings of kings, everlasting father. We thank you, the I am that I am. We thank you. How many presents and how many signs, God? We thank you, God Almighty, the one that break, break, separated the Red Sea and allowed your people to walk through the dry land. We thank you. For every trouble that rise out of our way, Lord God Almighty, do they rise, do they withstand it like a strong and mighty mountain on our way? You break them to pieces. Do they withstanding as the hills on our way? You break them to pieces. You did not allow them. You did not allow them to, you know, you did not allow their plan that, you know, what for them to achieve. You did not allow them to achieve what they were planning to achieve. You scatter all their plans. We have every reason to, 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 to praise his holy name. We have every reason to worship him. We have every reason to acknowledge him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O kings of kings. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for there is none to be compared with you. You are the Lord God Almighty. I thank you, O Lord God Almighty, even on this journey of these seven days, you are the one that has been keeping us on track. We say glory be unto your holy name. Thank you for you did not allow us to go astray. Thank you for you did not allow any evil thing to happen that will shake our faith that will shake us, oh Lord, that will, you know, that will, that, that will, that will shake us out of focus. Glory be unto your holy name. Thank you for this family. For it's you alone that uphold this family. It's you alone that protect this family. We say glory, honor, and adoration. To you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. People of God, I welcome you once again to the month of May. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is the month of grace to overrule the plot of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us this great opportunity. I say it is the month of grace. Somebody shout hallelujah. If I can listen very well, I want to hear it from the four corners of the earth. Yes, from the four continents of the world. Yes, 
echo that hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I just want it from the four continents, from the four continents, from the four pillars of the earth. Echo that hallelujah. Let, echo it. Let it shut. Let it go up. Let it be strong and mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, from Africa, we are shouting hallelujah. From Asia, we are shouting hallelujah. From Europe, we are shouting hallelujah. And from America, we are shouting hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. From any continent that you are this moment, we echo hallelujah to the kings of kings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 As we read from the book of Galatians, yes, no, from the book of Ephesians. Yes, as we read from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 from 27, that says, and give no opportunity to the devil. Yes, we are standing still on that very word that we will not give devil opportunity to strike first. We will not give devil, the wicked ones, opportunity to, you know, to harm us. Do not give them opportunity to enter into your life. Yes, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27. Do not give them any opportunity. I want you to personalize it as we begin. Say, I will not give the evil ones opportunity to destroy my life. I will not give them opportunity to destroy my life. I will not give them opportunity to destroy my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you can say that seven times. Yes, seven times. I will not give the devil opportunity to destroy my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not give the wicked ones the opportunity to destroy my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not give the evil ones the opportunity to destroy my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not give the devil the opportunity to destroy the life of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not give the devil the opportunity to destroy my financial life in the mighty name of Jesus. How many times is that? Mm. Oh yes, how many times have you ago? How many times have you declared? Sis, yes, I know. Yes, yes, that's sis. So for the last one, we will not give them. I want you to say it as if you mean it, uh, with understanding and with power and with authority. That in the name of Jesus Christ, I will not give the devil, the wicked ones, the opportunity to destroy my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you declare, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you declare, so shall it be in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the whole and of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we will not give them the opportunity. You say, if one person would chase a thousand, so if we join together, how many do you think that we will? we all join together to disagree with that evil plot. Tonight, we have come together to disagree with that evil plot in the mighty name of Jesus. If you don't understand what I mean, let's quickly open up our Bible to Art chapter, yes, Art chapter 13, yes, Art chapter 13, verse 50. Let's go there straight and see what the scripture is telling us in that very place. Yes. It said, but the Jews incited, incited the devout women of prominence and the, and the leading men of the city and instigated a persecution. And instigated a persecution against Paul and Barnabas. 
and drove them out of their district. Amen. They instigated a persecution. What does this place tell us? What does it tell us? It's telling us that there was nothing, there was no issue, but they form it. They bring up something from nothing. Persecution from nowhere. They incited, do you understand what it means to, to, to incite people? The insight. He said the Jews incited the default women of prominence and the leading men of the city. They did not just go to the common people. They go to the people that matters. They incite them to do what? To instigate. To come up with false accusation to come up with false accusation in order to do what to chase them out from the that very place a persecution against paul and barnabas and drove them out of their district because they didn't see anything to do and what did they do they come up people they come up, the Jews come up with that issue. They come up with that plan and instigated the people and, and come out and incited the people. Say, come up, all of you, you know, the ginger, how will you put it? They tell them, come up, come up, everybody, come out, come out, come out. Let us do this. If not, these people will do this. That is how the enemies are working. That's how the that's how that's what is happening in the camp of the enemy. They come up, they call others, come up, come up, come up. This brother, if we don't stop him, if we don't stop him now, he will cause a lot of havoc. If we don't stop him now, he will cause destruction. And were they going to cause destruction? The answer is no. But for their own mind, simply because they don't like what they are doing, not that what they were doing was wrong, simply because they don't like it. That's why they are coming up with all these kinds of lies. That's why they are coming out with these kinds of accusation. That is how you are being accused at the witchcraft covenant. They will accuse you of building a house and build a fence. Yes. They accuse you of building a house and build a fence. They will, tell, they will say, in this community, in this district, nobody has ever built a fence so high as your own. That nobody has built a fence. When I talk about, nobody has built a fence Nobody has fenced their house round as you did. You travel home, you build, you put a fence around your house. You didn't know that that was the cause of the perse persecution. And you now wonder how, why would that disturb one, disturb another person? It is my house. I decided to build a fence. And I decided to face it round. It is my decision. I don't need to seek, to seek consent from any other person. The house belongs to me. So why, why, why has it become a problem? I want to tell you, it's not that it has been a problem to the others. But the people now see it as a problem. They see problem from where there is no problem and decided to do what? To instigate others. They will instigate others, say, please come, come and join me. And they will do what? They will 
bring up a case against you. The, the scripture says the instigated persecution against Paul and Barnabas. Many of you are standing trial on issues that you don't even know that it, that it is existing. Oh, yes. You are standing trials on the issues that you don't know that it is existing. Even giving some people money, you decided to give that fellow a certain, a certain amount of money. And they say, look at him, look at her. He's giving money. Did I beg her for money? You didn't know it was once will from the witchcraft couple to remain in that state. And you decided to go and help such a fellow. And use that, he will go to the cover. He will go there and begin to incite others. Say, look at look up. You guys should come. He will call to he will call the fellow witches. He said, You guys should come. Come see me, see trouble. See me, see trouble. I was on my own. He will tell them, you know, I've agreed to live in poverty, see me, see trouble. This man has decided to come and destroy my plan. I'm talking about the very person that he wants to help. For, for you, you are trying to help the person out of poverty, or you are trying to help the person so that the person will have what to eat. But for the person, you are trying to destroy the oath that the person has taken at the witchcraft coven. Yes, you are giving dresses out. Then what happened? If it is not so, what happened that you gave out your dress and the person decided to use it for something else? He's saying, I have decided, I've already taken an oath in the witchcraft covenant to remain, to, you know, to dress very shortly like that and see me see trouble. This person has decided to come and destroy the, what I have, what I have built, yes. What I have built for so many years. What I have built for so many years. That's how he will put it. And he will do what? They will instigate a persecution against you. Amen. So don't tell me that it is when or it is by the time that you have wrongfully offended other people that they will do what? That they will persecute you. They are bringing up this issue in order to do what? To bring you down. As such, by the grace that was given unto us, what happened? We will nullify that attempt. Every objection, the rule through that persecution is going to be overruled in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know where they have raised a persecution, where they have raised objection in order to bring you down physically, spiritually, whether on any shrine, whether in any coven, they have raised an objection in order to persecute you, in order to bring you down spiritually, in order to bring you down in health, in order to bring you down from your business or either from your job. But tonight, by the power that is above every other power, we overrule that attempt in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule that objection in the mighty name of Jesus. When they persecute you, they come up with different objections in order to nail you to see reasons why they should inflict pains upon you. 
but they have a good news for you. I have a very wonderful and a good news for you. Jesus Christ was persecuted. He was persecuted with our sins with and with our errors. And what happened? He bears them all. He bears them all. He took them to the cross. To do what? To overrule the ones that was through our sins. I'm talking about those accusations that through sins we incurred it. Yes. Jesus Christ did what? He took them all. And what does it mean? He took them all so that you and I will not be persecuted on that ground. Look at what they did to Paul and Barnabas. In order to chase them out, if you read down in that very place, that verse 50, it said, they raised up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their region, from their district, from their location. That's how they raise persecution against you in order to do what? To expel you from the job. That's how they raise persecution against you in order to do what? To suck you from your job. But tonight, every accusation, every persecution, in order to trample you down, in order to, 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 to chase you out from your comfort zone, to chase you out from the ground, from the very ground that is flowing with milk and honey that God has destined for you tonight. We overrode our plans in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrode our plans in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan, eh, whosoever, in this place it was the Jews that that did what that is that incited the prominent people. He said the prominent women and chief people that matters in the society to raise up a persecution. I don't know who has raised a persecution or who has steer up, who has steer up a plan in order to bring you down. Tonight, we are praying wherever and wherever that person is, whatsoever issue that person raised against you and I, let it be overruled in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We overrule those issues in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to open your mouth in this very place. It was the people that matters that they did, they did what? They went to those people so that by the time it comes from those people, you will not have a chance. Yes. By the time it comes up from those people, by the time they incited the great men and women, what will happen? You will not have a chance in any means. You will not have a chance at all. Because the prominent people, is they are already against you. So who will speak for you? It's only God, it's only the Lord God Almighty that will help you out of that situation. That's why the scripture said, call upon me in the days of trouble and I will answer you. Tonight, we are going to call upon the name of the Lord to say, Father, every whosoever 
has incited others against me to persecute me for something I do not know. O oh Lord, nullify, overrule that instigation, overrule that objection, overrule that plot, overrule every plan, overrule that attempt in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, every plan of the evil one to incite others, to incite people that matters against me, to incite my helpers against me, yes, to incite my helpers against me so that they will abandon me, so that they will kick me out, so that they will neglect me. Oh Lord, today we overrule that plan. That plan will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray because the Lord God Almighty is right and it is presence right here to listen to your prayer. The Lord God Almighty is right here to listen to your prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer that whosoever at any level at all has gone out in their own capacity to incite, to, to incite, to steer up, to steer up anger, to steer up hatred, to steer up rejection, to steer up persecution against my life, against my life, against my blessings, against the blessings that the Lord God Almighty has released to you today. We overrule them in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not stand, they will not be seen. They will not, we will not experience them in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule them by fire. We overrule them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To understand one thing. The grace has already been given unto you. So don't speak as if you don't understand what you are doing. Yes. Do not speak. Do not declare. As if you don't understand, as if you are, you don't understand the power, if you are underrating the power that you have. I want you to speak with that understanding. Who has gone out to meet people that matters? People that matters in your life, you are helpers. You see the reason why you are helpers abandon you at the very time they're supposed to render the help? Because someone out there has already gone down to them to do what? To steer up hatred to steer up, to come up with falsehood. So the grace, as Luke chapter 10 says, yes, Luke chapter 10 verse 19, that the grace has been released to you. Function on that. Stand on that ground. He said, I give you the authority to trample on serpent and scorpion. Yes. So on that authority, 
heart. Yes. Act on it. Speak. Has it not been said that we shall declare a thing and it will be established? Tonight, I want you to make a declaration concerning everyone, concerning anyone who has stayed up that issue, who has, who has brought up that ob objection to bring you down. You know, what I mean by objection is that when something good was about going on, somebody will say objection, just as it is being done in the court of law. You say, objection, my Lord. This person has been abusing people in the society. As I said, as I made one analogy concerning fence, they say this person has built a fence very high that we cannot see inside his compound. As such, this person cannot live. Let us terminate his life. And they will now come into agreement and say it's true. Why did he build that fence that we cannot see inside of his compound? or inside of her compound. And they have taken that as a big offense against you. And they, pro they are prosecuting you on, on that ground. But tonight, whosoever has come out with any falsehood, any false allegation against me in order to bring me down, Father, let the fire of God, let the fire of God consume that very issue, consume, consume them, consume that very person in the mighty name of Jesus. When we say we overrule, we overrule, as we say, that very argument, that very argument, that very word shall never stand, will not stand in my life, neither will it stand in the life of my loved ones, neither will it stand in the life of my children, neither will it stand in the life of my generation next to come. That's what it means. We overrode them, we silence them, we crush them, we crush them, we push them back to the pit of hell where they belong in the mighty name of Jesus. Every instigation from the camp of the devil, every plot to bring us down, Father, tonight we destroy them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let them not see the light of the day. Declare once again, say, my father, my father. Every plot, every objection rests in the camp of the enemy, rests in the satanic coven, rests in the witchcraft coven, rests in an evil altar, rests an at evil shrine in order to bring me down, in order to destroy my career, in order to destroy my health, in order to destroy my relationship, in order to destroy my marriage. Father, today we overrule by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule those objections by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule every accusation, every objection from the camp of the enemy that they have raised in order to bring us down, in order to destroy us, destroy, we overrule them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand one thing. This is about judgment. If you allow them, they will have their way. That's why I started with that very verse. There's not efficient. That's why I started with that very verse that I will not give them an opportunity. So this is it. We are going to use our weapon. Yes, the scripture has made us to understand that the weapon that we are going to use is not a carnal weapon. Because we are not fighting against flesh and blood. 
Yes. That's why the grace of God is upon you and I to declare a thing and is going to, it will, it will, it will, it will, and it will be established as you declare it. So why can't you declare it? You have already seen a sign that you are already in the court of law that you did not even know. In your dreams, you can see that the persecution is going on strong. Yes. I say in your dreams, you can see that the persecution is going on strong against you. And it is time for you to overrule. Why can't you overrule it with all the power? that you have in you with the authority that the kings of kings has released unto you. Why can't you release it as it is? I will not give them opportunity. Once again, my father, my father, whosoever Whosoever raise evil motion against me, whosoever raise evil, evil argument against me, whosoever that raise evil argument concerning my family, concerning my ministry, concerning my career, concerning my health, concerning everything that concerns me, concerning my finances, concerning my future, concerning my destiny. Oh Lord, my God, today we of I overrode them all by the blood of Jesus. I overrode them all by fire, by force. I overrule all of them in the mighty name of Jesus. I overrule wherever it is, wherever they hold that meeting, wherever it was being held tonight. I overrule them in the mighty name of Jesus. I overrule, I overrule, I overrule. It is overruled in in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. When it is overruled, they cannot bring it up against you. That's what it means. Oh, yes. That is what it means. They cannot bring it up against you. That is how they do. If you read down to chapter 14, chapter 14, verse 5, because it was evil, they couldn't gather everybody. In, 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 in Acts chapter 14, verse 5, he said, and when a violent item was made, if you read from verse 4, it says, but the multitude of the city was divided, part sided with the Jews and part with the apostles. And when a violent attempt was made by both the Gentiles and Jews with their rulers to abuse and stone them. So all this plan, all this plot, what are they planning? All the plot, all those instigations to do what? To kill them. So when they make an when they instigate, when they come with persecution against you, it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. At the end of it, it is to do what? To kill. The enemy doesn't just play at all. That is where the apostle, apostle didn't give them that opportunity. Yes. Apostle Paul didn't give them that opportunity. Listen to what happened in verses. He said, they became aware of it. And they decided to do what? To flee to Lystra and Debbie. Debbie city of 
Lycaonia and to the surrounding region. They decided to shift ground because they don't want to give them opportunity to do what to strangle their lives. On that particular issue, for them to do what to leave that location was the best decision. And in this decision, you don't see them. They are doing these things spiritually. So what is the best decision? It is to overrule their plan. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the world. You cannot run away from this issue. Yes, this is not the issue to run to where? To Lystra. No, you cannot move from that particular location to Lystra and, and you will say, I've escaped them. No. And if you even read down to, if you read, if you read down, you will now get to understand that even when they went down to Lystra, they followed them to Lystra. Yes. So if you thought, or if you have it in mind, of letting it go that later on you will fight or let me just allow them. After all, it's just a mere accusation. They will go ahead to do the works. I will not give them that opportunity. I believe you will not give them that opportunity as well. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand. Do they persecute you? Do they have persecuted you for so long? You have never been forsaken. That's why I love Second Corinthians chapter four, verse nine. It said, "Persecuted, but not forsaken; struck down, but not destroyed." Do they have persecuted you? Do they have struck? Do they struck you down? Do we not destroy? Right. This is it. So the Lord God Almighty. will not allow them. And as well, you, I, you and I will not allow them either in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That that is I'm talking about that negativity, that incitement to the people that matters in your life. We are going to deal with it tonight. With your helpers, we are going to deal with them tonight. Mm -hmm. Whosoever by any means, whosoever, by any means. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, let the fire of God consume them. Whosoever that has gone round to meet everyone that matters in your life, Everyone that's supposed to be of help to you, they have gone around and spoiled your name. 
they have gone around and spoiled your name. And when, when the person sees you, ah, he said, he, the person is not the, is not, uh, I, I used to think that this person is very, is like this, is like that, but I was wrong because they have already gone ahead to destroy your name. So by the time you are there, you are just, you are like nothing. We are going to pray every evil man that has gone ahead to persecute me against, you know, to persecute me, to incite my helpers against me. Say so we overrode their plans and let the fire of God consume them. Tonight, that is what we are going to tackle. In every area that help supposed to come into our life, that the enemy has gone ahead to spoil it, that the enemy has gone ahead to bring bad issue, to bring bad news, to bring bad omen. Let the fire of God go ahead and destroy them as we overrule their plan. The it is a judgment. So as you overrule, that means they become guilty with that evil plot, with that evil plot as such. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. As katata li kalibras kulayakanda yada rakasata katayata li kalapak Kasikayata, he rababa bakasiata, lima makasuka la pakanda yada, rakasika la pakataya, rababa kasuka libra kasataya, rapakasayata. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of God consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them. Whosoever has come to that your job place, I'm talking of your workplace. Whosoever has come to meet the, the, the scripture said they're going to meet the people that matters. Yes. He said they're going to meet the people, the very important, the prominent people. They went ahead to meet the prominent people that matters in your life. They went ahead to go and discuss that evil plot with your boss. They did what? They begin to come up with evil accusation. They accuse you for something you do not know. Yes. They go ahead, even in the churches, they go ahead to meet your pastor to tell them that this person has done this and that. Even in your community, even in any location you are, they have already gone ahead to talk to the people that matters. Tonight we are saying all oh, that plot we overrule them. Let them be consumed by their evil plot in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule that evil plot against our helpers, against our helpers, against our helpers towards us in the mighty name of Jesus. What they are looking for is to do what? To chase you out. To chase you out. That was how what they did. And Paul and Barnabas decided to leave the place they will not chase me out of my from my blessing in the mighty name of jesus christ i want somebody to open his or her mouth and begin to declare upon my blessings the enemy will not chase me out the enemy will not chase me out their evil plot will not chase me out from my blessings from my blessings in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus i said the evil one will not chase you out from that business. The evil one will not chase you out from that company. The evil one will not chase you out from that company. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not chase you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plot to chase you out from that business, 
every plot to chase you out from that piece, that company, every plot to chase you out from that job, I say we overrule. In the mighty name of Jesus, we overrule. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we overrule. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we overrule. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we overrule. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we overrule. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we overrule. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Yes. I say plot to terminate you. To terminate you from that business, to terminate when they terminate you from that particular place, as they, you don't know what Paul and Barnabas were enjoying in that very land. By the time they chased them out of that place, they did not see all those things. Did not they, they couldn't the number of people, the kind of people they were interacting with, and their spirit, they were very high in their spirit, and they were speaking freely, but when they chased them, they chased them to a location as dry as, I don't know, but tonight, we overrode every plot to chase you out from the land that is flowing with milk and honey to a desert, any plot to chase you out from the location to a desert, to a dry land, we overrule them in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Laka si kala pakayata, rababa baka si kala kadaya pakayata, reke de reke si kali rabaka suta ya handaira, la kuka si kayata, la hira kasi kala pakanda ya, zekele praka si kayata, rakada baka si kala pakanda ya, rada da 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 da, rakada da 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 da, rakada da 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 da. Inshallah pakayata, di braka sikayata, reka da baka sikayata, laka di braka yaka sikayata, de kali braka sikayata, rabada baka da bada, raka da baka yata kada. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they keep chasing you anywhere you go. You have left that company and moved to another company, still they pursue you. That was how they persecuted Paul everywhere. In Acts chapter 18, verse 12, it said, but while Carlo was proconsul of Archer, the Jews with one accord rose up, the Jews again, the Jews again, in one, with one accord, rose up against Paul, and brought him before the judgment seat. Who brought you to the judgment seat? I say, who brought you to this judgment seat? Who brought you to this judgment seat? Oh. Mm. I want you to ask yourself, Sister Pretty, ask yourself, who brought me? Ask, ask. Look deep into your life. Ask, who brought me to this judgment seat? Because you have been seeing judgment going on against you. The kind of judgment you have seen, even in your dream, you have seen this judgment going on. Even physically, you have seen this judgment. Who brought you? Who brought you? The scripture said they come with one accord. The Jews come with one accord. In your own case, who has come with one accord to bring you to this very position? That's why I was saying that they should call you. Yes. That was the reason I was saying they should, they should call you. Because there is evil accusation. There is evil plot against you. I was screaming. Said they should call somebody. They should send message to you. 
Because there is this evil plot. Who brought you to this judgment seat? Listen, the person that brought, the person that brought you to the judgment seat, do you think that the person is, is planning good things for you? They want to squeeze out every good thing from your life. They want to squeeze out every good thing from your life. But today, whosoever has raised that persecution, whosoever that has brought you to that judgment says, that case, I say that case concerning Sister Pretty, and whosoever, that one representing the demonic kingdom, tonight you are discharged and acquitted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are discharged and acquitted. In the mighty name of Jesus, that judgment to, to delete you from this earth. I say that judgment seat to kill you. Let me make it very clear to you. I say that judgment seat they have placed you in order to kill you tonight. We nullify, we nullify, we overrule every argument from the camp of the enemy and set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. We overrule their, their objection and set you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who brought you to this judgment seat? I want each and every one of us to ask ourselves, who brought me to this judgment seat? Sister Fiki, uh, Fiki, just ask yourself, who brought me to this judgment seat that they are judging me for everything that I'm doing? They are judging me. I did this, they judge me. I did that, they judge me. I moved this way, they judge me. I walked this way, they judge me. Who brought me to this judgment seat? Tonight, by the power of the Almighty, whosoever that has hand, whosoever that has come, wherever they have come, up with wherever they have agreed together to come up with this agreement to bring me to judgment seat in order to destroy my life, in order to persecute me, in order to imprison me, in order to destroy everything that belongs to me. Tonight, tonight, we overrule. I overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. I overrule the blood in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross of Calvary. I overrule the blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I overrule the blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I overrule the evil blood in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ. Mm. Shanda Raka Sikayata. Raka Sikayata. Lakuka Sikayata. Libra Kasika and Rika and Rabasayata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who brought me? Who brought me? Whosoever that, whoever heard of it and agree with them. Whosoever hear, I say whosoever that hear it. Whether you hear them discussing and you didn't come to tell me, let the fire of God consume you. And those who even agree that they should carry out this persecution, we overrule that judgment. We overrule that agreement. We overrule everything that concerns that issue. And we say, let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm not just saying because I like, I love to, 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 to speak this way, but I'm standing on the word that says that I, you and I, shall declare, shall declare a thing, and it will come to pass. And as such, I declare tonight, 
whosoever that has ever, whosoever that brought me to judgment seat, let the fire of God consume them. Whosoever that brought me to a judgment seat upon on any issue that I do not know, I overruled that issue. And I said, let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of May, the grace that the Lord God Almighty has released upon me, I stand on that grace and overrule every negativity upon my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. La kasi kali brakashi kayata. La husa hinda hinda rakayata. Who brought you to this Sir Henry Court? Hmm. I say, let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether they are friends, whether they are enemies, but as far as they have come together, the scripture said they come with, they said, let us come with one accord. with one accord, with agreement, with understanding, they come in with one accord to do what? To bring you, to persecute you. What does it mean to persecute somebody? It is to bring a case against someone, right? So every case that they have brought against you, physically, spiritually, overrule, I say overrule, in the mighty name of Jesus, overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning your family, overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning your children, overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning your business, overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning your career, I say overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning your job, I say overrule in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Concerning your health, overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning your dreams, overrule in the mighty name of Jesus. They manipulated things and it, and it is happening in your dreams. Every evil manipulation, we overrode them in the mighty name of Jesus. I say every evil manipulation that manifested itself in our dreams, we overrode. It will not come again. It will not arise again in the mighty name of Jesus. You are wondering anytime good thing is about to happen in your life. You just, you that, you of all people, you dream of having sex. And what happened? Everything just spoiled like that. Tonight, that manipulation in your dreams, I say that manipulation in your dreams, cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. When you don't have any way to go, you don't have any interview, you don't have any exam, you don't have any place to go, you don't have, you don't, you don't have such, such dream, you don't have sex in the dream. But when once you have any important issue, that is where that night you will be, that's where you have your orgasm in the dream. I say, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a serious business, so I'm, I'm telling you. It's a serious business. The money, that manipulation, that manipulation to come and destroy you. You know, to, you know, to, how will I put it? Mama, give me one word. Mama say, doesn't know. God 
They will come and pollute you. They will come and pollute you. That when you go to that, that issue, perhaps it was contract that you were looking for. By the time you get, you are already unclean. You have already been polluted. So whatsoever that concerns you, will, whatsoever that you are presenting, people will not hear it. You are making a presentation. They will just say, just finish. Let this one finish and go. There is nothing for this one. Because they have already polluted you in the night. And you, you keep short. You, can, you did not even mention it to anyone. You are keeping quiet. And dying in silence. Tonight. Tonight. Every power. Every forces. Manipulating your life. To pollute you. Physically. Spiritually. Let it catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it catch fire. Mm. They will not succeed anymore. Oh, yes. I said they will not succeed anymore because I will not give them chance. That opportunity that they have been using, simply because I kept quiet, simply because you kept quiet, they have decided to run on rampage. They have decided to did to go to that extent. But from now on, we have not, we take back our opportunity, we take back that chance, we take back that opportunity that they were using to inflict pain on us. We take those opportunity back. In the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight, as you are going to bed, or wherever it, it perhaps it is you are there, still go on and be praying that every manipulation, every incitement, Every can call. To turn people against you. To turn the cool people. To turn the people that matters in your life against you. Overrule them. Overrule them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that plot never come to see the light of the day. As we overrule, it died permanent dead in the mighty name of Jesus. And whosoever that has brought us to the seat of judgment, let the fire of God consume that fellow. Let it consume that power. Let it consume that evil authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the power of God, the grace of God, that the Lord God Almighty has released according to his own measure in this month of grace, let it be sufficient unto us that every word we alter, every word we use to make a declaration it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a day like this. Amen. Amen. As I made us to understand earlier that we have entered the section that we are going to overrule those things that the enemy has done. Proper. We are going to do that deeply in the mighty name of Jesus. So from now on till we run it up according to how the Spirit of God will lead, we are going to deal, we are going to enter into different areas of our life and see 
the area that they have up bring that they brought up evil objection so that we can overrule them in the mighty name of Jesus. So as you are going, I want you to go and oh. I want us to go and read Second Samuel chapter nine. There you will see how a king overrule the law that was already been in existence. When we come up tomorrow or yes, tomorrow, later today, Tuesday, we are going to use that very chapter to overrule certain situation in our life. I'm talking of the laid down rules, the rule that has been in existence. And the, the you know, some, those rules that are not favoring us, but it has been in existence. Someone overruled them and it's time. Yes. So I wanted to go and read that, that very chapter, that very book. Second, yes, second Samuel, right? Second Samuel chapter nine. We will deal with the proper. So when you read it, generate your prayer point from that very chapter. Read it with understanding and generate your prayer points. Okay, do it this way so that we can help others. When you read it and generate your prayer point, post it in the WhatsApp group. Okay? When you read that very chapter and generate your prayer point, post it. Post it. I will see, don't copy another person. <laughs> no, don't copy. I will, the people, if you read, you post. If you don't read, you don't post. And if you don't post, I will know that you didn't read it. It's not the exam, but it will help another person. Perhaps I understand it this way and you are understanding might have been different and your prayer point will help. So let us be our brother's keeper. Yes, let the prayer point, if perhaps it is one or two, one or two prayer points, it's okay. It does not mean that it must be up to 10, no. One or two prayer points, it's all right. Post it on the WhatsApp group. There is no problem about that. You are permitted to post that prayer point. Read it with understanding and post. And as you post, when you see the prayer point, use it and pray. Don't say I was not the one. When you see the prayer point like that, go read that prayer point. Use it to pray till we come back. Amen. <laughs> you know, it, it has been a, no, a normal way that we send you a, 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 a particular uh, the Bible portion and send a prayer, a prayer uh, point as well. But I want you to generate your prayer points because by doing this, it means that you have read that very chapter. So we will see when the time comes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go down and read that very chapter very well. Read it with understanding and generate your prayer point in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, the chapter is uh, 2 Samuel chapter 9. 2 Samuel chapter 9. Amen. God bless each and every one of us. God bless you for participating in tonight's, in tonight's section. God bless you. For Sister Pretty, I pray concerning your tight 
in the mighty name of Jesus, let the mighty hand of God, the hand of God that does not disappoint, the hand of God that protects, the hand of God that giveth, the hand of God that giveth understanding, let it be upon you and great part for you and protect you against every evil, evil rising up against you in the mighty name of Jesus. And whosoever has brought you to a seat of persecution, let the fire of God start them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God scatter them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. For being obedient to obey the word of the Lord in your titan, the Lord of God will open the window of heaven and pour out blessings, his blessings upon you and the enemy will not be able to contain. The enemy will not be able to stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless the works of your hand. God bless you when you are going out. God bless you when you are coming in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Upon every one of us here, yes, God bless you. Even as you go out there to sow your seed, to pay your tithe, the Lord God Almighty will bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. See you soon, later in the day. But make sure you read that very chapter, Second Samuel chapter 9. The Lord God Almighty will bless you real good. And make sure you post your prayer point. As you do so, you will help a brother, you will help a sister. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.